Hey guys, welcome back to The X-Files. We're at Season 2, Episode 15, Fresh Bones. Let's go. North Carolina. I love that we get to go all over America with this show. Your turn. Um, for the baby. Jack? Are you still feeling sick? Hmm. What's the matter with you? Can't you hear the baby is crying? I'm having those awful dreams again last night. I didn't sleep long enough to be dreaming. I want you to go to the doctor. Will you do that? I just like to eat my breakfast in peace! Wow. Do you think that's possible? <laughs> Mother! Oh. Whoa. He is suffering from PTSD or something, is he? Oh my god. Oh. This is a good one. Wow. <gasps> He's dead. Wow, the car, that poor car. Hang on. I don't know what kind of symbol that is, but I wonder if he was meant to crash on that. Like that symbol was put there to draw him there. I did think he was suffering from some sort of PTSD from his time serving in the army, but I'm not sure now. Private John McAlpin. Last week he wrapped his car around a tree. He died on impact. Died, Drug yeah. and alcohol test came back negative. The military is calling it a suicide. They're especially concerned because it's the second one in as many weeks. The Marines were all stationed at the Folkestone Processing Center in North Carolina. More than 12,000 refugees waiting for asylum from Uncle Sam. Wasn't there a riot there about a month ago? Yeah, a ten-year-old boy was killed, but the uh, details of his death were never released. Mrs. McAlpin contacted the Bureau when the military refused to request to investigate her husband's death further. Wow. Oh, this is the tree. They'll find that symbol. I bet Mulder's seen something like it before, actually. This is the tree that stopped Private McAlpin's car. State police reported there is graffiti on the bark. Most of the refugees at Folkestone are Haitian. Mrs. McAlpin believes voodoo was behind her husband's death? Mrs. McAlpin doesn't believe her husband killed himself. She wants to know who did. Did he believe in voodoo? Marines, his family, and football pretty much sums up everything Jack believed in. <laughs> One of the boys in his squad told me what they found at the accident, and he said it was some kind of voodoo curse. The same one they found on the stool that Puerto Rican boy used to hang himself. Oh. Who told you that? What? Harry Dunham. My husband had just died, so I didn't give it much thought either way. Till Luke dug this up out of his sandbox. Oh. A shell. Oh, the same symbol. I'm scared for my child. I think it does feel like a curse, but we need to find out why. It's dangerous out here. You need something for protection. You're a lucky child. Really? How much? Five. I mean ten. I'll give you five. <laughs> okay. Well, you should always carry protection. Huh? <laughs> it's probably a curse. Two of your men have died in the past two weeks. We're soldiers. We're not prison guards. We're being asked to police a hostile population of foreigners without the resources to feed or house them. There are bound to be some conflicts. So your men are getting the brunt of the refugees' frustration? They hate us. Colonel Wharton, a uh, certain ritual sign was found at the scene of both deaths. Is there anything you can tell us about that? Not much. Apparently it's some sort of voodoo, Marky. All I know is voodoo caused a riot in my camp. We understand a refugee was killed, a young boy. Fortunately, I was able to isolate the one responsible for instigating all the trouble. His name is Bove. He thinks he's some kind of revolutionary. Okay, well they seem very helpful. On the body, I have a feeling that we may see that voodoo sign. Look, these guys are very helpful, well, but no I'm not sure if they're dodgy. He had no respiratory or cardiac functioning. I saw no reason to conduct an autopsy then. I still don't. Well, you can see for yourself. What? I have a sick joke, is this? Someone tampered with McCulpin's body, and I want to know who. Wow. Uh... You're Harry Dunham. You knew Private McAlpin. We were in the same squad. Any idea why he might have killed himself? I can't say, sir. Can't say, or you won't say? He won't. I was hoping you could answer some questions about the two U.S. Marines who took their own lives. It is a terrible shame. You do not believe 
I was involved in this, do you? How could I be when they keep me locked up in here? Mm. You tell me. Can you tell me about the symbol? What do you expect to learn from this? One of the Marines left behind a wife. She's too frightened to even mourn. She deserves some peace of mind. A mirror in which a man must confront his true self. Oh. These Marines, maybe they didn't like what they saw. Colonel Wharton mm. says you incited the riot last month. The country was born on the blood of slaves. Freedom is our most sacred legacy. Wharton will not let us return home, which is all we ask. Somebody stole McAlpin's body and replaced it with what looks like a dog's corpse. They will only warn you once. Wow. After that, no magic can save you. Cool. Come on, Scully. That guy Let's is go. scary. I really like how he spoke about the soldiers looking into the mirror and not liking what they saw it because it's a true reflection of themselves. That was so good. Somehow Bove must have switched the bodies. It's quite a trick considering he's been confined for the last month. Yes. Well, then he had somebody else do it. I'll admit the power of suggestion is considerable, but this is no more magic than a pair of fuzzy dice. Tommy, <laughs> look out! Oh, God! Who's that? Hey! Private McAlpin? What? How? <laughs> he's non-verbal, non-responsive to voice, touch, or pain. What? The neurologists suspect he suffered a severe concussion in the crash resulting in amnesia. It's a plausible diagnosis, only I'm more interested in how he came back to life. Yeah. Did you get a copy of the blood test? Yeah. Though I've detected trace levels of tetrodotoxin in his blood. What's that? That's a poison found in the liver and reproductive organs of pufferfish, a Japanese delicacy. What do you know about zombies? <laughs> well, I hope you don't intend to tell Robin McAlpin that she married one. In 1982, a Harvard ethnobotanist named Wade Davis did extensive field research in Haiti on the zombification phenomenon. And he found tetrodotoxin to be common to all. But in small enough doses, it can cause paralysis and depress cardiorespiratory activities to such a low level that the victim might appear clinically dead. <laughs> Which is what makes me wonder about the other Marine who allegedly killed himself. Mm, yes. Yes. Why would they bury Private Gutierrez here? Oh. Oh, boy. Beat you to it. You're the FBI, aren't you? We've arranged to exhume the body of Manuel Gutierrez. It's already dug up. I prepared to dig as soon as I got the judge's order, but it's too late. Yeah, the body snatchers got there first. Wow. Uh, Why would they want to do that? I got this. These body snatchers, what do they do with the bodies? Uh, they sell them. A rumor had it that the snatchers got $200 a head, but mostly it's the voodoo types who do the buying. Oh. A lot of folks in these parts go in for that. Wow. Look at that. How's he supposed to rest in peace like this? It's dug up so cleanly and beautifully. They can do what they like with the pigs and the chickens, but this is a desecration. This is uncool. Look at that. Hang on, what? See what I'm talking about? What? Hey. Doing that? Oh, what? That's me, me! I didn't do nothing! Hey, That's the kid that on. sold the little... That's me, me. ...the thing. Oh, yuck. Fresh bones. They pay good. But I go there for the frogs. How do you get out of the camp? I go and then I come back. <laughs> what about a name? <laughs> Chester Bonaparte. What do you do with the frogs, Chester? Which one I catch, I get 50 cents. From who? Who pays you for them? Bove. Oh, it's magic. It's the most strong. What? Well, there are certain frog species create a substance called bufotoxin. I think we should ask Bove what he's doing with those frogs. I didn't want to say anything before because I wasn't sure, but I think we're being followed. Oh, okay. Who's that guy? <laughs> Hello. Out of the car, Private. <laughs> Look, I had to warn you. You didn't seem too interested in helping us before. I couldn't talk then, not with Colonel Wharton so close by. And not with him right there. The boy. Just a little boy. No, sir, he is not. You're putting yourselves into the middle of something you don't understand. Oh, they warned him. He told the colonel he'd take his men one by one unless, unless the colonel let his people go back to Haiti. Mm. But the colonel, he just had us turn up the heat on all them beatings and all. Colonel Wharton sanctioned beatings of the refugees? He ordered it. Things he is making us do to those people. None of us feel too good about it, ma'am. But you don't join the Marines to feel good. He said he'd take their souls. Jack McAlpin was my friend, and look what happened to him. Well, the Colonel should just let them go back to Haiti, then. If that's going to solve everything. 
I think he's telling the truth. Until I can figure out why he lied. Yeah. Why would he be trying to avoid Chester? He's gone. I knew that he would go as soon as they stopped looking after him. Chester! Go on, Mulder. Go on. <laughs> Nowhere to run, boy. Wow. He's gone. Chester! He's just gone. How? Unless he's not real. That's weird. Is it possible that he's just not real? Oh, look, if something happens to that cat. Hang on, has he turned it? Has he turned into a cat? What? 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 I understand you obtained a court order yesterday to exhume Private Gutierrez. You should know that I filed a complaint with the Justice Department. The body was missing. Now you see what we're facing here. What kind of barbaric religion would desecrate a grave? We suspect it was an act of retaliation for your mistreatment of the detainees. What the hell are you talking about? It's Beauvais, isn't it? He's the one you're getting this garbage from. If anything, it's my men who are being harassed. Nobody's looking out for my men. Who to believe? I think, is that breakfast going to turn into something else? Oh. Ah. <gasps> oh, what? God. What? What is that? Oh, my God. Ooh. Let me see that. No, it's nothing. What if they had to put something on that? Some sort of poison? Oh no, that symbol's under their car. I don't think he's in any condition to talk. Yeah, they do beat them. I want the secret. Maybe you should tell me now. The secret? Your life is in my hands. Wow. Ten of diamonds? What is that? Oh, this is creepy. Creepy, creepy. Ten. County or ten. How has he put two and two together? And that's where he's got to meet. Is this Mr. X? Yes, I haven't seen him for so Surprised long. Surprised to get your card. I'd assumed our last contact would be our last. <laughs> your investigation is faltering, Agent Mulder. In 24 hours, all access to Folkestone will be restricted to military personnel. Oh. You'll be called back to Washington on a priority matter. They're making the camp invisible now. In case you haven't noticed, Agent Mulder, the Statue of Liberty is on vacation. The new mandate says if you're not a citizen, you'd better keep out. Well, why hold them up? During our most recent involvement in Haiti, three U.S. soldiers took their own lives. Of those men, two were under Colonel Wharton's command. Oh, wow. You're saying the military is sanctioning Wharton's revenge? These people are innocent civilians. Some people in Congress might have a real problem with that. I'm trying to locate a private Donna. Oh, no. Her palm yeah. is not good. Yeah, I thought it, that stick would have something in it. Mulder? He's not there. He's out with Mr. X. Your door's unlocked. Look at this. Is he having a shower? That has been AWOL since last night. Oh my god, what? Oh god. Oh my god, what? 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 <gasps> Gully? Oh my yeah. god. I found him wandering around outside. He's done him. Wow. When I found him. He had this in his hand. Oh. Do you remember killing Private Dunham? All I remember is being there, seeing him in all that blood. Why did you sign the confession? Who else might it have been? If you're suggesting that I coerce Private Calvin in any way... I need to know that he signed that confession voluntarily. Mm. Of course he did. Well, we'd still like to speak with Bavay. I'm afraid that's impossible. He's dead. Why? Because he's dead. Since both matters are being handled internally, I'll assume your business here is finished. What's wrong? I'm fine. I'm just, it's just a headache. You're not fine. You need to tell him. Mulder. Oh my god, this is terrible. Okay, Mrs. McAlvin, we can be there in 15 minutes. Now they're saying he's killed Harry. Mrs. McAlvin, you said on the telephone that Private Dunham came here last night. What did he want? He said if anything happened to him, I should give this to you. Oh, look behind him. And Wharton? Yes. They must have known each other when Wharton served in Haiti. Wharton is behind everything. Oh, God. Mulder, Dunham and Gutierrez both filed complaints against Colonel Wharton. Scully. These tags are they? Check out the name on the dog tag. 
It's Wharton. Come with me, please. <laughs> Where's Wharton? He killed Beauvais, and if you know anything about it, you'll be tried as an accessory to murder. Shut up! After what he did to McAlpin and Gutierrez. It wasn't Beauvais. Those men were about to testify against Colonel Wharton, so we stopped them before they did. Wow. This is what's left of Private Gutierrez. Now, where's Beauvais's body? We buried him. <laughs> this afternoon. That's Wharton. He's... He's taking him out. Yeah, there he is. I want to say, et de la lune. Et de la lune. What is this going? <laughs> I'm all right. No, you're not. You don't look all right. No, I'm I'm fine. You're not fine. I'll catch up with you. Just go get Warden. Mm. Oh, I had hoped that she would be able to talk to Mulder about what she's going through. Will she ever feel comfortable with him to tell him things? This is bad. I wish that you would talk to him. Oh, wow. Oh that was insane. Federal agent, drop the knife, Warden. Men sac up protege moi. Bon way marcher la nuit. Drop the knife. Sunday. Oh. 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 oh my god. Ici, je frappe le He who does evil, evil he will see. <gasps> Wow. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh, the cat. That's the boy. That's the little boy. He's keeping her safe with the with the protection. Holger. You're okay? I feel better than you look. <laughs> He's dead. Yeah. He's dead. Did you kill him? No. It was Beauvais. He's them. They're going back to Here's Haiti. Here's the your manifest you asked for. Is this a complete list? As far as I know. The little boy. boy. His the name boy. Was Bonaparte. Chester Bonaparte. Sure, Chester. Poor kid. He died six weeks ago in that riot. Oh, wow. No, no. that was so amazing the end was so freaky with what was happening with scully my goodness i loved that though like seeing the fingers come out of her palm was disgusting but so mesmerizing <laughs> I really enjoyed that. This one was fantastic. I love that Chester was dead all along and he was he took over the little the cat. He he was actually the cat. Maybe he could just project himself into another form, but I do wonder if Scully will believe that. Uh, I guess we won't ever hear what she what she thought about that because this episode is finished but I do so wish that we could see a little bit more from that and actually know what she was thinking about Chester because yeah he's not alive he is actually dead this one was really great I wouldn't have thought that Wharton was the bad guy in all this I did feel that the Marines knew something and they were involved in some way but not to the degree that it actually was i just wish that one day scully will be able to confide in Mulder more i thought we were doing really well a couple of weeks ago we had scully and Mulder embracing for the first time she sought comfort from him but that's not really elaborated on now she's gone back into her shell unfortunately so we'll have to just keep hoping a little bit longer. Really enjoyed this one. It was great. Hope you guys liked it too. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next episode. Have a great day, guys. Bye.